If you have opened up your gas and electric bill this month, the numbers may have shocked you. The price of natural gas has increased by nearly 400 percent, leaving thousands of low-income people without a way to pay their bills. San Diego restaurant owners are also outraged, saying the cost of doing business has never been higher. KUSI's Dan Plant joins us now live from Rudford's Diner. He's in North Park, and he's got reaction from the owners there, Dan. Yeah, well, the reaction is one of shock, as it is with every single person in San Diego that's going to open up their gas and electric bill, take a look at that thing, and literally scream at the top of their lungs. It's just outrageous. Um, you know, my bill, and, you know, I don't usually put myself into these stories, but my bill went from $46 in November to 485 in January. 46 to 480. The bill in here went from 22 to 85. 400% increase. They say this is a supply and demand. Natural gas is a commodity. A lot of people were using natural gas because it was cold. But 400% increase? One of the reasons is we don't make our own natural gas in California. We import 95% of it because of climate change policies. So this is what we get. We got a chance to catch up with the owners of Rudford's, talk to them about what's happening. And in a minute, I'll tell you that there's actually a relief plan that is put forward by sdg e that will help people pay their bills because they will need help. Take a look. As if living in California isn't expensive enough, now comes another kick in the teeth for the price of natural gas. Here at Rudford's Diner in North Park, the cost of cooking just went up almost 400%. Uh, so just gas, gas alone went from uh, 2200 bucks a month, uh, projected as 8200 a month currently. It's absolutely crazy. How can we do this at 400% increase? At a time when California's climate change politicians are trying to eliminate natural gas altogether, it is a little suspicious why the price would suddenly triple or quadruple. In this case, they say it's simply a matter of supply and demand. A very cold start to the winter has created a bigger demand and California has no supply. In 2020, we ended up redoing our stove to try and get like a super high efficient gas stove, you know, because that's the way everybody was going. And all of a sudden, that high-efficient stove isn't exactly doing its job. For restaurants like Rudford's, this is the latest financial punch in the gut. The price of everything from eggs to meat to produce has increased, and now this. Uh, minimum wage we could prepare. We knew it was coming. Increased menu prices, but when we get hit with something like that, it's a complete cost of running a business, and there's, there's no way around it. At this point in time, almost 50% of California's energy is fueled by natural gas. Yet, because of political policies, 95% of that gas is delivered by pipeline from other states, instantly making it more expensive for the most populated state in the country. A lot of restaurants have been forced to increase their prices to help pay for this. Rudford's is hoping to do the opposite someday. We're hoping right now that our cost of goods are going to come down. Uh, eggs went haywire over the past six months for us. I know um, the public and the consumer is just starting to feel that right now, but we've been dealing with that for about four months now. So if, if that cost comes down, you know, me and, me and my dad, we talked about lowering prices a little bit. You know, I don't know any restaurant that's ever done that. And as timing would have it, just this morning, SDG&E sending out a message on social media, acknowledging the historic high prices and claiming that your next bill will be 68% less expensive. Apparently, the demand for natural gas has suddenly dropped. Well, I don't know what that means if it just went up 400%. And I don't know if that could be true. I don't know. You know, I, we've been promised quite a few things. I'm not sure if they're going to come... I would love a 68%. Does that mean off of my $8,400 bill? I don't know what that means. I would love it. But for now, the cost of doing business in California is chasing businesses away in record numbers. Many of these increases have been caused by political policies from the one-party rule. We're up in 24 hours. Our bill originally, you know, pre-pre-COVID was 1200 then after COVID, it went to 2,200, and now it's 80, 8,400 for a month. I really hope that the people that we're choosing to represent us are actually representing us. And in our current time, I don't think they're representing any of us. 
Oh, they're representing a few, but not the not the many. That is for sure. Uh, but they don't care. You know, this group, they don't care. They're doing what they want to do and trying to bowl everybody over. Hopefully the voters will wise up in the next election cycle. And maybe we get some balance into our political bodies out here. But right now it's just absolute insanity, as we know. Again, a record number of people are leaving California and a record number of small number of people are actually coming to California because of the economics and because of the politics that are happening here. But there is a little bit of a, a silver lining here. sdg and &E followed up with a nice press release saying that they do have an assistance program for the thousands and thousands of people that are not going to be able to pay this bill. I mean, let's just be honest. You know, if you're living on the margins anyway, you're making minimum wage, you got kids, whatever it is, you're not going to be able to pay a 400% increase in gas because they pipe it in from Texas, you know, and because of the demand was high. So sdg &E does have an assistance program, and there's even a federal assistance program to help pay for these kinds of things. Um, you know, for the folks who were really worried about this, you might want to look into it. And once again, you know, this, a lot of this stuff, okay, supply and demand on this one, but the big picture is political policies. And if we keep putting these people in office, these political policies will continue and the California flight will continue along with it. We're out in front of Rudford's where they are paying 400% more for their gas than they did last month. Throw it back to you. You think of what these restaurants have gone through in the last couple of years with the COVID lockdowns, and then they try to build these uh, outdoor patios, and then they got to shut those down, and then they got to rework things. I think those windows are new. They had to put those in, and now you're getting hit with this. I mean, it's coming from all angles, now but I'm it looks depressed. I know. I'm sorry, I'm Dan. The good news is Redford's looks packed, and they have amazing food. It is. All right, buddy. It is. It, it is packed. Business has never been better. Yeah. That yeah. is good. Uh-oh. Don't get karate chop yeah. behind you. Watch out. The kids are coming. Oh, yeah. The kids are coming. Dan Platt for us. There they are. Huh. Dan, thank you, buddy.